I'm going to show you how you can edit images that are stored on Airtable in bulk through Cloudinary. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com. So the idea here is we have a field, and this field has a bunch of images on the original um, on the original field here. And then what we want to do is we want to perform some uh, edits to them and save them, save the edited versions here. And if you're not familiar with Cloudinary, it's sort of everything you can hope for with an edit, edit, uh, image editing API. So you know it does all sort of cropping, rotating, you know, all sorts of color adjustments. Uh, even overlays, like if you want to add a watermark or just, you know, attach two images on top of each other, they have a lot of things. So um, our extension will allow you to use any of those operations. To set this up, you'll start by filling up your user API key, follow the blue URL to find that, then select your base and then select your table. Next, we'll need a Cloudinary Transformation Sample URL. This tells us what exactly you're trying to um, what operations, what editing operations you're trying to make to the image. So if this is your first time in Cloudinary, you'll want to start a new one and then sort of play with it, do exactly what you want it to do. In my case, I'm going to go to this one right here. And um, so I've set my adjustments to the left side and I can do really anything I want. And then what I'll do at the end is I'll click copy here for this URL. So this is that URL we want to paste there. So we'll copy it. We'll go back and we'll paste it here. And then we'll go to the extension settings. Now we want to tell the extension where are the original images stored. In my case, they are stored in the field original. And then where we want to save the processed images. And these need to be two different fields. Then we'll select that. And then I'll go ahead and click Run. This may take a second here, but I can go here to sort of wait for it. Actually, while we do this, I can show you one thing here. So this job can be scheduled to run regularly so that it runs you know, every hour or so. And it can also be triggered through a webhook. A webhook is a URL. Every time that URL is opened, this job is executed. So let's go here, maybe it's done. There you go, cool. So my uh, transformation URL is very simple. All it does is it grabs the image, rotates it. And it just does a couple of cool things. But overall, this is super simple to use. All you need to do is come here if I wanted, for example, to change the height, I could just come here and increase that height. If I wanted to change the format, I can choose the new format here. There's a lot of things you could do and you really just, all you need to do is configure these things, then copy that URL and paste it over there.